Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always an honor and a pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God, and I'm so excited about each and every one of you. Today, what we're going to share with you is part two of our conversation with returning guest, author Cynthia Gaston. We're going to share with you details of her upcoming book, which is a book of poetry, as well as some other great details in her journey as being a published author and an entrepreneur. And don't forget, we do have some back-to-school supply collection drives going on, one being held in the Tampa Bay area by Bow Ministry. The founder is Evangelist Tanya Walker Singleton. That information is on our Facebook page for The Balance of Life, as well as my personal page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. Also, I'd like to share with you details of another back-to-school event. Uh, it's a back-to-school uh, giveaway, book bag giveaway, being done by Redeeming Life Full Gospel Ministry. Uh, founder is Elder Beverly L. Darasol. That's being held here in New Jersey, Saturday, August the 28th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And also, I do have another uh, exciting event coming up uh, with the Diamond Divas. Remember, we did have them on our uh, radio program about a month ago. It's a back-to-school event, and that is being held August the 7th from 12 p.m. to uh, 3 o'clock p.m. That information is on our personal Facebook page as well. Uh, I'm so excited about these events. Stay tuned because we have more. If you have an event that you would like for us to share, a community event, uh, that you would like for us to share, we can do so free for you if you would email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Also, uh, if you have a ministry that you would like for us to make mention of, then we advertise those uh, ministries for free. All you have to do is email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Dot com And right now we're going to go back into the conversation with published author Cynthia Gaston. Yeah, so um, we, we are uh, at the tail end. We did some last minute changes on your book of poetry. Um, the other books are, are soon to be released, uh, re-released for distribution. And, and so what are you, I know that you are strategizing and you're planning for, um, have you, when everything is released, are you going to do a book signing for everything, an event or? Uh, that's exactly, yes, ma'am. That's exactly what I like to do because I feel like, you know, I'm an author of several books. I don't like to just always hone in only one book mm -hmm. unless I'm targeting a certain audience because of a special event, a special topic, a special theme. If it's not a special theme or topic, I, I like to incorporate all of them because that's a part of me, you know, and, and I have, I'm going to a convention in August, August 5th through the 8th, and here we also able to explore, learn from others, and also let others know about your business, and I'm loving that. I uh, appreciate things like that because it gives you exposure. And, and listen, we have to get our product out there so others can know about it because it's like having a nice hidden secret, a good little hidden secret because these are good products we have. And I don't need it to be a secret. I want others to know about it. So I'm at the point of getting more you know, exposure for my material because if others know about it, they'll enjoy it just as much as I do and be able to utilize it and, you know, it yes, it, it actually does. And, 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 you know, I believe since our last um, time having you here, I've actually started doing a FaceTime Bible study with my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, I found coloring books and 
and and material like that and and we'll do it uh, a couple of times a week and that i believe like you said what you have it's a good product because sometimes she'll read to me from one of her other books but our focus is we do the i found some nice little christian coloring books and we read the scripture but even if we were to do that facetime let's talk about this beautiful that i know is so, so wonderful. And that's kind of like what I'm doing that I was mentioning a little, you know, earlier. Mm -hmm. Like my first book, Mom Had a Problem. That is a book with math problem, a uh, math problem that Mom needs to solve in order to keep her children, TNT, for exploding into fights. Because Mom have to think about a plan to strategize. And that's teaching that skill of using strategies, making a plan so that you can solve some problems. So you got several different skills you can learn with that story. And then I've done dad had issues that's a story with dad to his sons to follow rules because rules are the, made to keep order and to keep you know the children safe and everyone else around safe so the boys have to understand that these rules are important and even if dad is not there you still must follow the rules so that's what you would do because that's their name yogi olsen in euro aka they're known as you so you have to follow the rules see how that goes yes. in and gets us to examine ourselves because we have to follow rules too children and adults is that true that's very very true <laughs> yeah and so yeah so that is a good story i've already done that story on zoom and then today I'll, at five o'clock i'll be doing big bully bob teaching anti you know um strategies and uh how to identify bullying and how to be a friend so you know that's important for us in the world we in today we don't have time to be hurting one another. We should be loving one another, being kind to one another, being friendly to one another. And that's what I teach the youth through that. I also welcome adults to come into the Zoom so that they can also open that discussion to teach and help the young. Sometimes it's just a matter of reminding. You right. know, and even, like we mentioned before, with the bullying, the bully may be the bad person per se at the point. But that person needs another chance to turn their lives around. We don't just give up on to the one, give up on the ones who does wrong or who have done something bad. We want to give them another chance, but we want to give them an opportunity to turn their life around, to do good instead of evil, to do good instead of bad. And then I have Show Me, Teach Me, Guide Me. Matter of fact, I just used it in class this past week because I'm teaching summer school. With that story, we're learning about citizenship and social studies. That book went well with it. And I'm telling you, these were written before I even knew the curriculum was going to be like this. But I re after reading it, I would say, hey, this flows right with the curriculum of citizenship. Because in Show Me, Teach Me, Guide Me, Poetry Through a Child's Perspective, it's, it's when young children are asking responsible adults to help them, to show them, to teach them, guide them in the right direction on how to make good decisions in life to be good citizens. And um, that's a wonderful book for that lesson that my kids just learned. And when we did it, they were on point with how they learn what citizenship is and how to answer those questions because now they have some background knowledge into what a good citizen should look like in our world today, every place we go. Might need to be a good citizen in the home, a good citizen in your community, a good citizen at school, everywhere you go. So this is what a, an adult can use the book for, to talk to kids about these things so that you can either show them, teach them, and guide them, or just remind them of what they need to do. And then, you know, I have a call for character. That's the book that talks about all the character traits we can think of kids may need to know or have the good character traits. And in that book, you have the good character is going to, you know, be invaded by the alter egos, like the opposite character of what they should be. So this one, this book is very engaging, and that's why I want to make this one into a movie, because it has more words, it's longer, but that book teaches, I mean, it teaches, like, I can't tell you, I can't express it because it caught me by, you know, off guard when I'm like, wow, I wrote this? This is how the story ends. This is how the story goes. And it was amazing when I reread it myself because of how it lined up with what we're living with in the world today. We have to make decisions. And we have good versus evil every day. Every choice we make, we have to think about the choices. That, are we going to make good choices? Or are we going to end up making bad choices? We're the one who's going to have to decide what kind of character do we have within us? 
we're the one who's going to have to decide that. We can learn things to become better, but it's going to be ultimately up to us to choose which direction we want to go and how we want to be. And this is what's going to make us, form us, and, and give us the consequences we're going to face in life. Good consequences or bad consequences. And that's what I do with these stories. I use them to open up discussion, to help. It could be helping adults and helping children. That's why when the publishing company usually asks me, uh, what category would you put these in? Like, what's the age group? It's really difficult for me to give it an age group because it depends on the platform and who's going to use it. You know, is the audience going to be children or is the audience going to be teachers or educators? You can take this book into a college and teach from that to teach the teachers or the, the soon-to-be teachers how to be educators towards children. And we are all lifelong learners. So if we're lifelong learners, we need to educate one another so that we can educate others. So, yes. That, that, that's so very true. And if you're just tuned in, you've tuned in to The Balance of Life. I'm Pastor Angel Ferguson, and we have author, entrepreneur on the line with us today, Cynthia Gatson. And uh, just talking about the audience and, and the books um, that she has written, currently five books and the journey of being a published author. And uh, just well, so what I would like to do is... As I uh, mentioned, uh, during the FaceTime Bible study, uh, I do believe that um, I can incorporate your line of books in that FaceTime okay. with, with my granddaughter. And uh, listen, she's really enjoying it. The, uh, she is eight. Uh, the three-year-old grandson, he even now comes to the table and he says, I'm coloring. I got a book. <laughs> So it has become absolutely uh, an awesome tool. So when she asked, um, let me tell you something. Uh, she listens on the radio and uh, she knows, you know, that I, I, you know, for ministry for me. And I mentioned one day, I said, well, Nana has to teach Bible study tonight. And so she said, Bible study. So I said, yes. So we begin to talk about that and. And she asked, and so I said, well, do you want to have Bible study with Nana? And she said, yes. Now, to be honest with you, I thought it was going to be maybe once a week. That was my projection. Mm -hmm. She would like to do Bible study FaceTime every day. And so, what? yes. <laughs> and so, um, we, you know, I, I work around my time. And um, we get it done. We do a couple of activities. What I did was is I went to a local store here in Vineland, New Jersey, and I found some books. I bought th a three set because I needed a set, and then I mailed her her own set of everything we're going to do. And I, of course, had to mail the three-year-old something because you know how siblings are. Where's mine? Right. And so that way we, uh, you know, I always ask her, okay, which uh, coloring book are we going to work out today? Uh, what book are we going to read today? And she'll pick something. Now, when it first started, I would read the scripture. But now, you see, it's helping her in so many different ways. Now she takes over the reading. Yes, so we'll do a coloring activity. There's word search in there, which helps with the identification. Uh, or, or either we'll do some rhyming words. It's, it's also helping her in every area of her eight-year-old life. It's, it's, it's planting the seed of Jesus Christ. It's also helping her in her academics. That's right. It is also teaching the three-year-old sit down for activities. And so I thought about it earlier when I was preparing for, you know, part two of us. I'm like, okay, I need to incorporate those into the FaceTime. And so uh, when I can, then I will definitely get those books and, and send them to her so that we can um, extend our FaceTime. Uh, I recall... I believe she was, uh, for about three or four weeks at one time, every day for 15 minutes, 
And listen, at the time, I wasn't doing it FaceTime. It was just on the phone. We did some kind of activity. Math, which I would have her gather. I don't care if it was Cheerios. Uh Uh-huh. We would... I would tell her to count out so many, and then we uh-huh. would do different activities with them in math. Okay, let's add some, let's subtract some. We did that. Then I would have her to write out whatever we were working with, what color is it? Right. Write me a sentence about it. And we would do that 15 minutes a day. That helped her, and she was able to go to her next grade level. And... Um, uh-huh. And sometimes when I'm doing these things, if I say it to somebody, they look at me like, mm-mm, that take too much time. That take a lot of patience. You know, you know, and look at the bonding that's going along with this. She's going to remember this forever. Yes, and I, I think back for the scripture where uh, Jesus Christ says, suffer not the little children. Mm-hmm. And as a teacher, listen, he's going to have us to, uh, we're going to encounter all different walks of life. And different age groups. And if we can't teach the babes, ooh. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned into the balance of life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for tuning in as we are sharing with you part two of our conversation with author Cynthia Gaston. And just as a reminder, we do have some events going on for back to school. There was a back to school event. Uh, being held in Tampa by Tampa Diamond Divas. This is happening August the 7th uh, from 12 p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. at the Tampa Mall. Uh, The address is 5488 Bush Boulevard, Temple Terrace, Florida, 33617. Also, here in the New Jersey area, Uh, Listen, I love these community events. This is what it's all about. Uh, There is another back-to-school event, uh, backpack event, actually being held here. And the founder is Elder Beverly Darasol. And uh, we do have this flyer up on our website as well. If you want to connect and be a part of something good for the community, Uh, We will more than, listen, we love to share your events on our Facebook page and make mention of them on the air. Uh, Also in Tampa, a back to school uh, supply collection uh, is going on until July 26th and the actual distribution date is going to be August the 7th. If you have an event that you would like for us to share, Or listen, if I happen to scroll through my page and I see uh, an event that you're having, I'll go ahead and I'll grab it, tag it, and then I'll make mention of it on the air. So that's how we do. So if I happen to come across some great events, I'll go ahead and make mention for it uh, on your behalf. Uh, It is no charge. I love to do things giving back to the community. And also, if your ministry is having an event, or if you would just like to make mention of your ministry, please feel free to email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Now we're going to go back into our conversation with author Cynthia Gaston. We can't get to the mature. So, uh, but definitely, yes, ma'am, I would love to incorporate those within our FaceTime and um, it's it's been going absolutely awesome. it's been going awesome. Uh, awesome yeah that she'll say uh, uh, Nana um, are we doing our baby our, our Bible time today our FaceTime today and I carve out that time and I just say uh, Lord listen I can take a nap afterwards or either I'll tell her let me take a nap first and then um, we'll jump into it but it's been going absolutely awesome Beautiful. Well, I'm going to give you this little tidbit. Yes, ma'am. My niece and I got together. My niece is really good with technology. So we um, did a YouTube uh, read aloud with Big Bully Bob. And if uh, your listeners want to go and see a sample of how Big Bully Bob goes uh, with a read aloud, like you say, you have your young granddaughter and even some with kids, children, any age, it doesn't matter. Even if you want to read it for yourself as an adult. Go to YouTube, type in Big Bully Bob, 
or you can even type in my name. You'll probably see it as well, but I typed in Big Willie Bomb and the read aloud would pop up there. And so that's an example and a sample of the story and how you can open up discussion with whoever you want to, your child, your grandchild, your classroom, you know, students or whoever, recreational centers, Girl Scout, Boy Scouts, whoever. This is a prime example of how that product could be used. And if, if they decide to want to purchase, they can go through Amazon or pay um, with um, you know, pay Turner and they can order. But soon I want to be able to have my own website so that I can do it directly because I want my prices to be lower. But right now we got them at a good price range and stuff. So and uh, soon through your publishing company, they should be for sale as well. So just they can take a little sample look at what, what I'm talking about, how this book can be used as a tool to open up discussion and help the youth to understand why bullying should not be and how to get rid of it. And if you have a problem with it, you open up that discussion, give them some ideas on how to go get help. All right. And if you've just tuned in, listen, we're talking to Cynthia Gaston and just really, really enjoying all that she is sharing with us. As you uh, did here, she did give the link for uh, the YouTube read along. I think that is something that's so important. And, and there is more to come from her. That is good. Listen, that you're expanding your brand once again <laughs> in a different <laughs> avenue, expanding your brand. Uh, that That's the good thing about um, staying in tune, as you mentioned from the forefront, about allowing the Holy Spirit to lead, a, lead you and guide you in this process and in this journey and look at the many of platforms that are made available to us not everything is going to cost money it is going to cost your time and it is going to cost your willingness to learn is that and that's where it starts so if you if an individual is willing to give their time to learn, listen, there is no limit in the sky. None. And so I, I like the way you encouraged um, authors to, to learn and to ask questions so that they're not blindsided, so that they, they can make a conscious decision about which way to go. And I think that's important. Ask the questions. And here's the thing. Ask the uncomfortable questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I didn't know if I mentioned uh, my niece's name, Sanitia Gasson, because she really do deserve a shout out for how well she put together that video for, you know, the world to be able to share in our experience of reading. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, we, we thank her for... Um, adding and, and being a help to you uh, in that area. And so, uh, listen, uh, this is an open door for her yeah, as well. Yeah. It's a definitely an open door for her. So um, we look forward to uh, just so much more from you. And we thank you once again for just your willingness to come and to share with us here at The Balance of Life, um, you know, it, it helps us as well as we are gathering tools and, and we're learning so very, very much. And we love sharing with our, our listening audience uh, those connections that we have. There's so much to us. And, and like you said, uh, sometimes, and I believe this, we are hidden, but for a moment. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, like you said, when you wrote the books, you had no idea that at this time it would be a part of the curriculum. And so God knew at what time it needed to be released. But had you not been obedient of writing it in advance, you wouldn't have it to reference and to add to it today. Amen. Amen. And, and isn't he so wonderful about doing that, about preparing us along the yes, way? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, mm -hmm. he is. So when you said that, listen, that just did something in my spirit. I'm like, look, she wrote this 
previously and, and, and now being able to utilize it. And he has you in the right position to do so. Absolutely. Amen. That's why I know it's orchestrated by him. I give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Yes, I do. Yes, because some things aren't discussed at home. Some things like that, they're not discussed at home or they're not discussed the right way. And so I, I thank God for placing you in that position and giving you the knowledge. And, and I, I really, really appreciate the fact that you want to learn more about what you're a part of. Um, you want to learn about the publishing aspect. Who knows? One day you might just decide to say, you know what? I just want to put that on my resume as well. I oh my goodness, that's the second time I don't heard this. Is this a confirmation? <laughs> I just heard this like yesterday, the other day, for yesterday, from a prophet. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <So good. laughs> yeah, so, you know, who knows? You know, no. that just say, you know what, one day I want to see what it's really like. You know what I mean? It's something to, it's one thing to tell a person what the painting is all about but when you step behind the paint it becomes even more valuable to me because now i've gotten on the other side of relinquishing all of those things to someone now i'm going to take those things on and i'm going to really really learn a process i think that's what it was for me when i self-published i want it hands-on yes yes I, it's been, been with me right now, I'm comfortable where I'm at because mm -hmm. I'm at the earlier stage than where you are, and I'm enjoying it because I'm still a teacher. I'm a teacher. Yes. This is like coming from my heart, mm -hmm. natural, God-given gift, you know, that type of thing. And what I'm doing now goes along to accentuate uh, what I'm doing, you know. It just adds to what I'm already called to do. Yes. So it's flowing for me. I'm really enjoying this journey. I really am. And that, that to me, that that's what makes it even more great when you enjoy the journey. Um, and, and it's not hard. It's not strenuous. Listen, enjoy it because we only have one life to live. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe we should enjoy it to the fullest. We should not. Um, don't listen. And it, it's a wonderful journey. That's all I can say. When you look back and you see the growth and, and the, the hills and the valleys that you've come through and you can say, guess what? I made it. I made it this far and I can go even further. He's Listen, he's going to take me even further. So uh, I just, I say congratulations to all that you've accomplished and there's so much more for you to accomplish. Thank you. Thank you. you are welcome, and and I know that you're looking forward to uh, the event you have coming up. You said was it uh, is it September or August? August the fifth through the eighth. Okay, okay. So you are preparing for that, and and are you taking product with you? Yeah, I'm gonna try to take a few books with me. You know, at least for you know the, the habit with me on hand. I didn't really want to get a table to sell or anything right now because I'm this is my first time to this particular type of event. So I want to just explore first and learn and then I'll know what to do the next time I go. Okay, okay. And, and you know that's that's always a good stance to go and observe but also have some material tucked away um, even if it's some um, bookmarks that you can hand out. Uh, your business card with, you know, the name of the books on it and, and, and stuff like that. But definitely have something tucked away because, listen, somebody is going to say, do you have a business card? Or, you All know, right. yes, yeah, something. And, and like I said, even if it's bookmarks, right. um, something that you can um, hand out, give away, and, um, and, and, and in that way, you're actually setting the stage for your return to be another part. You kind of get an expectation of, of what's going to happen there. And, and so whenever I get ready to do a, um, a, a booking event and I have other authors there, I kind of guide them to see if it's their first time, kind of give them a checklist. Mm -hmm. And exactly. um, 
and and then I always encourage come extra early so that if you need help setting up your table, you know, doing stuff like that as well. And we're going to stop right there. Have a blessed day.